It is May 8, 2024. Check out my screen here. I got this ad on Facebook because Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, basically partners with scammers, kind of, not really directly, but they allow scammers to place scams in paid advertising, meaning that Meta, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, whatever you want to call them, accept money and profit from scams by not properly checking scams before they start displaying to users in paid advertising. This is not just a normal post. There's payment behind this, meaning that... You know, this is the sort of thing that Meta should be able to check before it goes out, but they don't. And if they don't check, they make a whole lot more money, don't they? Because if they started saying to scammers and all the thousands and thousands of different types of scams or different versions of scams or whatever in paid ads, they started telling those scammers, hey, we, we see this ad as a scam. We're not going to let you even start running it. They would make less money and they're not going to do that because then they'd make less money. I mean, that's just common sense about what's happening with this. And Meta makes billions and billions in quarterly revenue. And, you know, they've said before that they're serious about scams, that sort of thing. You know, Meta Newsroom, here's a press release about scams, that sort of thing. Probably they put that out there, right? But that's talk. This is walk and the walk is failing. Walmart warehouse is forced to scrap laptops due to end of Dell contract. To save money on recycling, Walmart decided to th give away laptops to everyone in the U.S. Answer a few questions and get your own laptop. I know this seems like an obvious scam, but What's obvious to some people is not obvious to all. Not everybody's tech savvy. Not everybody grew up with technology. Not everybody's down with everything. There are a lot of people out there, not just elderly people, but a lot of people out there who just don't quite have the knowledge and the experience to be able to see scams and know what they are. And we shouldn't make fun of them. We should try to help them. And that's what I'm doing with my video here. Let's look at this scam real quick. And by the way, hit like down below and comment and subscribe. Doing those things, liking and commenting, will help this video show up in, you know, higher up in Google and YouTube search results, which would be really great. So unfortunately, this person here was taking a photo that was later used in a scam. She's not involved in the scam. And I don't even know. I guess she was, she probably wasn't even holding a laptop, to tell the truth. She probably was holding something else because why would she hold a laptop? And why would there be a, a larger box of the same kind of box behind her? It doesn't make any sense. One dollar, one dollar doesn't make any sense. Um, so it says, get your laptop today, apply now. And so when you click on this, you go here. This is not Walmart's website, but they're pretending to be Walmart. This is W-Y-X-I-J-I-E dot info slash post slash 2020 slash zero eight slash 2020 dash iMac dash review dash the dash last dash picture dash show. Sorry, I shouldn't have had to read all that, but I guess I did anyway. Uh, Dell Inspiron laptop, only $1 is what it's claiming. It's a scam. And if you get, if, if like I sent you a link to that page, the page we're looking at right now, you wouldn't see what I'm seeing. You would see something about like a review, like it would be a facade. It would be something not showing you the scam because you didn't come from the ad directly. There are two versions of this page so that I guess prying eyes like mine can't see it. But guess what? I can see it. They always let you win on the second one. It's going to come out. It's going to spin big in the middle. And then you're going to think, wow, I want a Dell Inspiron laptop. And you didn't. Let me, let me guess. It's going to go to like, um, what's the other website? Something to win. What, what is it called? No, it went to a different place. Sorry. Joyfulprizetreasures.com slash capital V1, capital D, lowercase I-N-A-M-I-C, uppercase B, lowercase L-A-N-K slash checkout. I don't really need to read those. I don't know why, like you guys are like writing that stuff down. Uh, okay, so it claims you're going to be able to get this for $9.95, the shipping and handling or whatever. And let's see, do they, okay, they've got the form here. Do they have, no, they don't. So you notice here, look from the very top. I'm going to zoom in for those of you on the phone. You can see here, nowhere here does it say I agree to the terms and conditions, right? Nothing here. There's no checkbox. She says it's going to want one checkbox here, but that's about billing, payment information, and complete checkout. Nothing here about I agree to terms and conditions, which is super scammy because if you go down, and most people won't go down to the very bottom because they'll check out, you zoom in on this tiny text here, which is really small. I just zoomed in. 888-994-6557 is the phone number mentioned here. There's also an email address. You can see it right there if you need it. The company name, if you can call it that, is GC Entry, which is a scammy thing that I've seen lots and lots. And here's the catch. Now I'll tell you something else. Let me zoom in. Just saw one. I saw one just like this a few seconds ago. Okay, $9.95 is what you're going to pay. And then every 30 days, you're going to pay $149.95.
That is what they're doing. That is the scam. It is a hidden subscription scam where they aren't, you know, truthful to you. And I'm sure that if someone tried to take these people to court, they would they would claim that there was a checkbox for the terms and conditions, and there wasn't, by the way. So, you know, what what's going on here is I see these sorts of things a lot. And I've covered scams a lot in the last few years. And I cover scams big time here on my channel and at my full-time day job somewhere else where I do, you know, reporting, credible reporting, that I believe these specific scams are coming from within the U.S. I believe that someone or some people operating these are in like California or Florida with like either a P.O. box or maybe they've got like a, a mailboxes, et cetera, sort of a box number. And they try to hide, even though like they would claim in court everything was fine. They had a terms and conditions. It was all legally buttoned up. You can't, you know, come after us, sue us or whatever for someone who maybe got scammed by this. I don't believe that, though, because there's no checkbox here for terms and conditions. There's no checkbox at all. And there's nothing here that says check out the terms and conditions. It's just at the very bottom of the page. So, you know, you're not going to get a laptop for a dollar. I hope that you guys know that if you're going to get a laptop for a dollar, it's not working. It's in bad condition. And maybe you're getting it for parts at like a garage sale. That's all I can tell you. So like this video, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you have any other information down in the comments below. And stay vigilant out there. If something online seems too good to be true, like an online offer, it probably is.